Welcome back YouTube fam. Today I'm going to do a more in-depth guide to IV cam and how you could use it as an alternative to buying a webcam or even a DSLR camera for streaming. So let's get right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your app store, search in IV cam and download the app. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into Google, type in IV cam, go to E2 eSoft, first link, come down here and download for Windows. Then what you're going to want to do is just click the EXE. Yes, yes. Okay, in English is my language. Next, next. Uh, you can install the microphone if you want and have it run at startup. I'm not going to be doing that because I do have a boom arm. I don't want it clogging down my resources. So, next, install. Run IV Cam. Once IV Cam is running, go to your phone, launch IV Cam app, and then connect your phone to your PC via USB or USB Type C. Once it's connected, you should see yourself like this, but we're going to go into the settings because right now we are recording in 640 by 480. If you want 4K, you could click 4K 1920 times 1080 uh, and 1440p. Usually I like recording in 1440p. The higher up you go, the more uh, input delay you get. So I'll click 1440 and click apply. I also could mess with my lighting settings, make me brighter on the camera. And I think that's good. Even with low brightness and higher ISO, I think that's a lot better. You have beautify and you have a lot of other stuff, like clipping and whatever. But what we're going to stick to is just the ISO and the brightness. Uh, you could play around with these yourself. This is a background blur. I'll teach you how to do the blur right now. I like the blur, but if you could connect this to NVIDIA Broadcaster, the blur on that is a lot better. But to get blur, you're going to click down here and then your background. Do blur, bokeh, mosaic, green screen, transparent, and then you can choose your background file. Now I'm going to keep it on blur and we will put the blur up a little bit. Also zoom if you need to zoom in. And this is, what setting is this? This is the focus. Uh, usually you could keep it on, on automatic. I like keeping it on automatic. This is the white balance. I don't really see a need to adjust that for myself, but you could do that yourself depending on your lighting. And then we click OK. We could exit out of this and it'll still be recording, so don't you worry. Once you exit out, go ahead and launch your OBS. Click the plus sign on your sources, video capture device, and then we will create a new capture device. And then we're going to look for E2 Soft IV Cam. And then we're going to just adjust it to how we want. Like I said, you could do a green screen effect on here. That actually works pretty well. What I like to do is crop this slightly and this is where we're going to actually open up IV cam again. I'm going to put this on the other window for me and then I'm going to edit a few settings to see if I could make this look even better. So I could zoom in a little bit better you'll see my face a little bit better in there. I could also I said go to your backgrounds and we could do green screen it's not the best green screen but it works pretty well and then we could just go to here click filters add filter do a chroma key and honestly I'm not gonna go through the settings but you could see that it works perfectly fine you could adjust the settings all you want and go through it and make your background a little bit more I guess better get all that little fuzzies out and that is how you use an iPhone as a replacement to a webcam or a DSLR camera all right thank you guys for watching um, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on the OBS aspect of it and getting the green screen more uh, perfected or even connecting it to NVIDIA broadcast because that has a better transparent feature and a better blur feature uh, just let me know and I will make a video on that Thank you again for watching and you guys have a good one.